This morning, North Korea fired what the South Korean military says appears to have been a ballistic missile launched from a submarine into the East Sea. The North test fired missiles several times last month as well, but this would be the first SLBM launch in two years and comes at a time when South Korea, the U.S. and Japan are discussing ways to re-engage with the regime. Panji has more. Just 19 days after its last missile launch, North Korea fired another ballistic missile on Tuesday morning. Seoul's Joint Chiefs of Staff said Tuesday that North Korea fired what appeared to be a submarine-launched ballistic missile, or SLBM, toward the East Sea at about 10.17 a.m. Traveling 430 to 450 kilometers at a maximum height of 60 kilometers, the missile was launched from the vicinity of Shinpo, Hamgyongnamdo province. This is where North Korea keeps its submarines, meaning that it is possible that the latest launch was in fact the test firing of an SLBM. Seoul's military says that it is currently carrying out an investigation into the matter. If confirmed to be an SLBM, the launch will be the first of its kind in two years, since 2019 when the North fired Pukguksang-3 from an underwater platform. The missile could also be a new type of SLBM, as the North showcased Pukguksang-4 at a military parade last October and Pukguksang-5 at another parade this January. Missiles being launched from a submarine can make them harder to detect and allow them to get closer to other targets. This is the eighth provocation this year alone and fifth since last month. For two days starting September 11, Pyongyang test-fired long-range cruise missiles that covered a range of some 1,500 kilometers. On the 15th, when South Korea tested its own SLBM, the North fired two short-range ballistic missiles from a train. Then on the 28th of September, the regime fired what it claims to be a hypersonic missile. And just two days after that, it tested what it called an anti-aircraft missile. Tuesday's launch comes at a time when top nuclear envoys from South Korea, the U.S. and Japan are currently in Washington to discuss the North's missile launches and ways to resume talks with the regime. It also comes as intelligence chiefs of the three countries reportedly met behind closed doors in Seoul to discuss issues on North Korea. Arirang News.